right now the college basketball world is kind of taking over and everyone has their teams that they're picking and Kirk Heinrich is a little bit conflicted. Of course he played for Kansas but under UNC head coach Roy Williams. So he said he is a little bit conflicted. Now when he came in as a freshman at Kansas he was a point guard. He was starting. They won the Big 12. His last two seasons Kirk takes him to the final four with two heartbreaking losses to Maryland. Kansas's next opponent in Syracuse. So is he for Kansas or Roy Williams? Well, <laughs> you know, I got a, uh, you know, I owe Coach Williams a lot, but I got to stick with my alma mater. Um, but I, I definitely cheer for both of them, um, you know, throughout the season and in the tournament for sure. How excited do you get this time of year, and are you able to keep up with the tournament much? Uh, I try to. Um, the last weekend was really fun to watch. You know, we had a couple of days where we got to watch a lot of games, so. Um, it was real enjoyable, and, uh, you know, it's always an exciting time. You know, it brings back a lot of good memories, and uh, it's, it's hard to believe it's been so long. Your senior year, when you moved from point to shooting guard, and you guys made it to the Final Four for the second straight year, what do you remember about that run? Um, I just remember, you know, we had, you know, some tough times early in the year, but we had, a, you know, a veteran group, a lot of, you know, great guys, great character, a good coach, and, uh, you know, we are able to, to make somewhat of a run and just uh, really remember the heartbreak at the end. And of course that heartbreak he's referring to is the three point loss to Syracuse. Growing up in Kansas, I remember just that image of Kirk in the locker room crying. He had just missed a three pointer. So I wasn't going to bring it up to him. He brought that one up. The only other Hawk with an alma mater still in the tournament is Mike Scott and his Virginia Cavaliers. Now he was poised to have a great senior season under then new head coach Tony Bennett. But then he suffered an ankle injury, he got a medical red shirt, played his fifth year, led the ACC in field goal percentage but his team only made it to the round of 64 that year. And guys, he's just one of three Virginia players under Co Tony Bennett to be drafted by the NBA. So he's a big name for that Virginia program. But